All right, so we have a service call. And the customer believes, the homeowner believes that it's low in the refrigerator. And from what he's explaining to me, it sounds like it is. Now, the coil inside is freezing up and that is a telltale sign, generally, right? That it's leaking coil. Um, so I'm gonna show you uh, what to do to find out if a system is low on refrigerant. It's sometimes it's more than just putting your gauges and oh that seems lower, right? There's certain parameters that need to be there, and um, yeah. So let me show you real quick if it's low on refrigerant. thing I do uh, or you can do so this is a manufactured home let me stand back so you can take a look here so it's in a closet here and so everything's exposed uh, in this type of system um, but if you can see here I just shut the unit off we've got condensation let me see if you can get that there we go you see that drip there we got condensation all the way up the coil to about right here right there you see it here Let's see you see that wetness it's kind of shiny to about right here so in other words it's about right there three quarters of the coil and usually that is a sign either of a restriction in this refrigerant line coming in your high side or it's low on refrigerant it's just not filled the system and so that's my first uh, inspection on it my visual and so now what we're gonna do is crank this thing on and then go from there so yeah we should have condensation all the way to this big line here going back right there filters clean so let's go check the refrigerant all right so let's go check it out we got our gauges it's r22 so it is the old refrigerant um old old refrigerant so here's our our ports outside and so, let's hook these things up. Go from there.
So, again, we're looking for, right now, we're looking at our pressures. So, if you can see here, our pressures are at about 230 over 51. And this is R22. Okay. But we're also looking at our superheat, which is this number right there. You can see that right there. Um, we're going to get our temperature. So we've got a temperature of our line right here. Suction line. So this system has a has a piston inside there's no expansion valve so we're going to focus on that fixed metering device because it has one we're going to focus on superheat okay so we're going to do that all on the low side line which is this big one right here the blue hose which is going to go to this side right here i want to focus on that so right now at R22, we're at 46 degrees super deep. We should have at least 5 to 25, okay? And in a mobile home unit uh, system, and it's going to be even lower. So the super heat's always going to be low, a low number. We've got a really high number, which is showing me that really we are a little low on refrigerant. And that's the R22. Uh, that line right there that this clamp is on. This one is only 76 degrees or 74 degrees. And that tells us right off the bat. Remember inside the top of that coil wasn't sweating. In other words, it wasn't cold enough to sweat. Okay, so 74 degrees coming off of that coil. And that's what we're reading right here. On this line. So, high superheat. Really, sometimes the only way you can make sure that there's not a restriction is to add a little bit of refrigerant and see what the head pressure does, which is this one number right here. Okay, it's that top number, 230. That's the pressure, which is this red hose here. But uh, on this situation, I'm gonna go ahead now that there's two different things showing me it's low, okay? The coil's not sweating 100%, okay? Cold and sweating. Temperature is, is warm on that thing, but also looks like the pressure's a little low. Okay, um, on that suction side. Superheat's high. We're painting a picture here on is this system low on refrigerant. So I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and do a leak search at the indoor coil first.
See the bars rising? I'm getting closer. Pretty straightforward. Coil's leaking. It's leaking on both sides on the bottom of the tubing sheet, but mainly down at this bottom right hand corner, right, probably right on the other side of the tubing sheet, but you don't repair those. The coil would need to be replaced. So there it is. That tells us that it is low on refrigerant. We'll give recommendations on this. All right, so, all right, guys, so there it is right there. Pretty straightforward. Don't look at my van, it's, it's horrible. But, um, you know, this is a manufactured home. Uh, so, anytime you have a manufactured home, let me get where you can see me here. We get the, the light. Um, things are a little different. You know, pressures are different. Uh, because of the ductwork uh, issues and return issues and downflow. And, uh, but it was pretty clear on this unit that, that he was low on refrigerant. All the signs were there. I, I took you all through them, right? And so that way, if you're a service technician and you're just starting out, this is very straightforward, simple, helps you. I hope it helps you. Um, but these older units, they had only so much space, you know? Um, so we need to find maybe a coil inside and a condenser, convert it to the new, new refrigerant, and then add a leak detector in it, inside it. Uh, we'll call Mortex, we'll call Coleman, find out what they need to do, uh, uh, what we need to do to make that right. Um, the only other alternative is to take the old oil out of this refrigerant here, out of this compressor, and uh, that mineral oil, and uh, add, add to it the POE oil and put the replacement refrigerant for the R22. And then maybe find a coil to replace inside. So you keep the outside unit, just the compressor inside and the compressor. You know, there's ways to do it. There's options. We want to give options, but uh, the best way is replace this thing right here and that thing in there.
best way so we'll give options so there it is pretty straightforward you know um low water refrigerant and i don't have any to put in there so that old stuff so we'll give them options right so yeah it was low on refrigerant you know what i'm saying those old units you gotta replace them <laughs>